Hi, welcome to another episode of Broadcasting Northwest Florida. I'm Jennifer Connolly with Florida's Great Northwest, and today we have one of our uh, workforce development partners with us. We have Maria Goodwin, who is the Deputy Director of Operations and Programs at Career Source Gulf Coast. So, Maria, I'm, I'm delighted to have you here with me today and excited for you to share with our audience about some of the services that you all offer throughout the region um, and your region specifically within Northwest Florida. So uh, could you kick us off and tell us a little bit about what those services are? Sure. Well, um, Career Source Gulf Coast is a regional workforce board, and we service Bay Gulf and Franklin County, and we provide free employment and training services within the region. So what we're really trying to do is make sure that we're matching our job seekers up with businesses. And to do that, we know that we need to have a qualified and highly trained workforce. And so we provide free services um, that deal with the job searching resume interviewing assistance, but then we also get involved with assisting employers. And so that goes into um, how can we do some research and what are the labor market statistics that they need to make those key decisions um, into helping them with recruiting qualified workers, screening qualified workers, and maybe even funding for some training for those workers. Yeah, that's wonderful because I know, I mean, this is a nationwide problem, right, with trying to find uh, qualified workers. And so these services that you all offer are incredibly important and they're all at no cost, correct? Right. There is not um, a charge at all. In fact, our, a lot of our businesses that we work with, when we first say that, we have to say it multiple times, but there's absolutely no charge to any of our services. And when we work with businesses, we like to tell them that we can do as much or as little as they like. Of course, we focus our staff on really um, focusing on some of those targeted industries that our economic development organizations um, are trying to recruit and grow within our community. So when we're working one-on-one -on -one with those employers, we have a dedicated staff person to help them. And so they can do everything from helping them um, write job descriptions. Um, we can help post and even um, target different uh, job boards or maybe even job markets to help them with recruiting. Um, we also have over 1,300 different skills assessments that we can offer. Again, that's no charge for the employer. So if they're wanting not just somebody with typing skills, but they need somebody with a, a certain proficiency or um, skill level within a wide range of different skills, we can test for that to see where their skill level is skill level is at. Um, that way they can make sure that they are hiring um, a really qualified person that can meet their workforce needs. Oh yeah, that's great. So, so valuable um, to the employers in this area. Let me also ask you about some of the things that you all do as far as trying to build that pipeline. I know you also offer some scholarship opportunities for students in specific areas. So can you share with our audience a little more about that? Sure. So um, one of the things that we also offer is um, funding for scholarships for in-demand jobs. So we um, currently provide scholarships at some of our local educational institutions, Gulf Coast State College, Haney Technical College are examples of those. And we fund those occupational skills training um, for in-demand um, industry. So healthcare is a big one for us, construction, aviation, and so we'll pay for the tuition, books, and even if they need some su supportive services like transportation to and from school or their clinical rotations, those are all things that um, Career Source Gulf Coast can help them so that they can get through that training and get into the workforce. And we just felt like this was a, a real good need because it helps those people overcome some obstacles and become very qualified and meet the demands of our employers in our community. Yeah, oh, that's excellent. Well, Maria, this has been so um, informative uh, for our audience, I know. Uh, so I really appreciate you spending time with me today. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. 
And thank you all for joining us for another episode of Broadcasting Northwest Florida.